Pow! Pow! So the two main differences regarding Dogma F to the Pinarello F5. I ended up not changing anything on the bike. Okay, let's go. Okay, so in the first video, I said that I'm gonna change a couple of things, but it ended up not the way I, uh, I guess, I wanted it in the first video since uh, when I had a little bit more time on the bike I guess the position suits me really good so especially when I'm dropping low on the hoods the position is really good for me yeah a little bit longer bike it doesn't bother me even on descents so uh, yeah I was pretty happy with it nothing really to change I'm still this I'm still thinking about bringing up the levers a little bit but yeah from what I've written it so far it's perfect for me so uh, yeah I ended up not changing anything on the bike except a few scratches but that's pretty much it and in this time I got even more excited about the bike or more in love with the bike because if this is the F5 so the entry level of the F series then Dogma F must be exceptional I think there are two main characteristics that makes the Dogma F superior to this bike so let's go outside and let me tell you all about it Let's ride I'm not gonna lie, Dollar had to put on yeah, give her brain fried My lady papa zenny, had her lady popping molly while she waiting on me Yogi in my area, yogi in my area Keep on heading if you want, I drive it like a nut I don't wanna hear you, jiggy down, I ain't gonna know like I'm Pow! Uh, so we just started the climb I'm pretty tired right now so the two main differences regarding the compared Dogma F to the Pinarello F5 so the first difference I already mentioned it in the previous video is the weight so this one is about 800 grams heavier although you don't feel it that much on the climbs you feel it every time you try to accelerate so we can probably get the weight down with a different stem and the handlebar because this setup is pretty heavy or if we just change it to what the Psst. dogma f has Psst. yes you you watching the video approved cycling has 40 percent sale we're moving so everything is 40 percent off go to approved cycling com right now and get yourself some new gear made by us or designed by us jerseys are limited edition and we have a lot of cool stuff so hop on there and let's ride so the second difference is the carbon fiber that they use on the frame so the dogma f uses t1100 and this one uses t700 how do you feel the difference between these two is probably with the stiffness on the bike and when you are pedaling you feel it on the acceleration so if you're just going like on a sunday ride i don't think you would feel any difference and also heavier you are so stronger you are bigger difference you guys will feel how do you feel that difference when you push especially when you push harder uh, the bike doesn't accelerate as much as you guys would want it does bend underneath you a little bit but that's only when you're putting out with me probably around 800 watts or more that's just those first couple let's say five pedal strokes but other than that it's okay what's surprising you don't feel that when you're descending so the bike really descends like a demon it goes really good when i was riding the dogma f12 to be honest this one feels pretty much the same the, these are just my feelings so you guys can decide a little bit better if you're buying a, a Dogma F or any of the F5 or F7 or F9 Pinarellos that you guys can just decide a little bit better so if you're a girl uh, you don't weigh that much I don't think you will feel any difference or if you're a smaller guy that doesn't push uh, a lot of watts I don't think there's a big difference between the Dogma F and the F5. But yeah, if you're a little bit stronger or heavier, then the difference is, uh, yeah, you will feel the difference.
If any of you guys also rode any of the F-Series bikes from Pinarello, so the F5, F7, F9 or the Dogma F, share your thoughts in the comments below so other people know what you guys think about the bike and of course if we're right or wrong. Thanks. Stay tuned for the final verdict of the bike when we test it a little bit more on some longer climbs. Uh, in a month or so we will go to an island near Slovenia and we will test the bike there. So yeah, that will be our final verdict, what we think, what, we've, what kind of feelings we have regarding this bike. Enjoy!